Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be, of course, an Amazon haul. You would have read by the title. It's been a long time since I've done an Amazon haul. And this one is not exactly an unboxing because I've unboxed, well, all of them. Because this is actually a haul I've accumulated over months since I have consciously tried to stop doing crazy, crazy hauls on Amazon or anywhere else for that matter, just for video purposes. Even if I do end up doing a big haul, it's because I genuinely want to buy those things or I'm in need of certain things and I went ahead and did a great haul. But yeah, I've just stop doing hauls for video's sake if that makes sense these are just things that i really wanted to buy or needed to buy and i just want to make this haul video because i know a huge majority of my viewers love watching these hauls so with that disclaimer being said let's quickly get into the haul now i am warning you guys this is a very very random haul also i think i forgot to mention best part about this amazon haul everything is under 500 rupees so yeah it's super affordable and i will put down all the links of the things that i'll be sharing today in the description box so make sure you check it out so in no particular order for First, I will just share some art stuff that I got. The first one is this paint palette. What do you call this? Yes, color mixing palette. This is the cover it comes in. I haven't used it yet because, well, I was waiting to shoot this video and then use it. So if you watch a few of my previous videos, you know I have spoken about just starting to paint for fun sake. I just wanted to get a, a spacious mixing palette. It's a plain white plastic rectangular box as you can see so this is the amount of space that you get inside as i said ample space the smaller partitions here and bigger ones to mix all the colors in and you have two sides and this is actually a thumb grip so yeah i think this is pretty good it's just for 158 rupees i think it's completely worth it for that price and i do recommend it next up since i did just mention how i started with painting of course i did not have any good paint brushes in fact i had like a set of 10 paint brushes which were just for 10 rupees i am not exaggerating i got it from some random local stationery shop years ago but i never used it but it was such horrendous quality even for a novice like me i was just like wow at least the bristles need to be in one direction so yeah i just knew i definitely would be needing decent brushes so i found this particular one it's called as artist den it's their classic basics we have eight brushes inside so i have used these brushes and i can tell you guys it's really really good and it's just great quality like i just also love how it comes in this ziploc package so you can always store your brushes inside these are synthetic hair brushes and these are also cruelty free which is great in this particular set you have four round brushes in the numbers zero four six and eight you also have four flat brushes in the numbers two four six eight so yeah i think it's a well-rounded basic beginner brush set of great quality highly recommend this in case you want to start painting or you're looking out for some relatively affordable brushes that are of great quality i think this would do the trick i bought this for 2.99 but the mrp is 400 so you can get a good deal on amazon if you shop from there so i will make sure to link this in the description box next up i want to share something i have been waiting to share since i received it it's basically this set of pen from pilot it's called as friction pen i have two of these which has of course blue ballpoint ink and i also got the black ink if you're wondering wow Meena, did you really share just random ball pens i swear there's a point to this wait let me come a bit closer to show you better so i'm going to draw a heart here wait that was a very ugly heart okay both are ugly i hope you can see that now i'm going to take the back of the pen this is a speciality and i'm simply going to can you see that it's literally like magic guys let me just erase it properly it's completely blank the ink has gone uh, i have to mention though you can see slight indentions or the marks rather of what i have written or drawn in this case uh, i don't know if it's visible it's very light so you're not going to always see it uh, i will probably show you a close-up of a better clip because this i think it's a bit overexposed the tip is almost like silicone not really but feels like it yeah this is what does the magic i personally started using this in my art journal if i use this pen i just have more shanti that i can always erase it and i don't have to scribble anything out it'll just look perfect and clean you can see the ink uh, it's pretty decent i wouldn't say it's the best ballpoint pen out there and yeah, this is how the black ink looks you can see it's not as dark or black as the regular uh, other black pens would look like but i just love the fact that you can erase it so seamlessly it's just going to be really useful for my journaling endeavors next up one of my latest obsessions that is crystals i've been on a hunt for good crystals on amazon because there are tons and tons and tons of options but they have such bad reviews thankfully for me 
and you guys if you're interested in buying crystals i found two really good sellers for all of you so i do have the crystals right here but i did shoot a separate video of me unboxing it and sharing it with you guys for the first time ever so cue that clip this one is smaller but it's heavier than the huge one let's open the smaller box so it's all bubble wrapped like this whoa what does this smell of some essential oil i remember reading the comments that the crystals were coated with oil oh yeah it's like jasmine class wow it's really oily wait let me just show you the ziploc packet is actually like sticking to the crystals because of the oil so this is by the seller rr shake gems so from the seller i purchased two things one is the set of five this has amethyst black obsidian sodalite red jasper and rose quartz you can see the crystal it's actually beautiful and good size as well uh, only the oil is bothering me but i'm sure you can wash it off i love it this is such a beautiful piece of black obsidian both of these are of almost the same size next we have amethyst and this is how it looks next up we have soda light it almost looks black honestly but it has a blue hint or hue to it this is how amethyst is in comparison and lastly we have red jasper now let's open the second order from the same seller so this is a set of green aventurine and labradorite so it's a set of two you can see how they look uh, i know it looks almost ordinary but look at how it shines in certain light it's like a rainbow of colors. This is so, so stunning. This size is crazy. It is so, so big. You can see how it fits against my palm. So worth the money that you're paying. Next up, we have another set of crystals and this is by the store Reiki Crystal Products Store. It's a set of 12 crystals and these are not raw, they are tumbles. Some people love crystals because, well, they look beautiful. Some people believe in the healing quality. Some people believe they have energy. So whatever crystals are to you, I think they're just beautiful to have, right? Very, very excited to have both the tumbles and also the raw crystals, which I've put in this pouch. Like, they just feel so cold in the hand and you know it's authentic and not fake. Next up, we have this fun thing that I got from Amazon. And I did basically prank my MegFam on Instagram. Wait, I will actually do a transition. Okay, I'm pretty sure I look ridiculous right now because I haven't put it properly. But yeah, basically it's this cute clip-on bang and this is the back. You can put it on your scalp and then clip it and then you're good to go. Very easy to just install in your hair. And yeah, I just got this because I just wanted to try a different look. At least for some reels or pictures or whatever. The quality of the hair is really, really good, guys. I did try to straighten it a bit, but I feel the natural shape was looking much nicer. It came packaged like this on a white cardstock paper. I was put in the zip blog bag so packaging is very average but quality of the product is top notch so i think just for that 278 rupees is really affordable next we have a home decor thing and this is how it looks of course this wooden plank and you can see there's this ugly spot which i'm not a huge fan of to be honest now there is a small story behind this so the first time i ordered it the rope that it came with had some black mark on it so i sent it back for replacement and i got this one the first wooden plank that i got was 
perfect it had no mark at all no ugly thing like this i have thought of returning it and getting it exchanged again but honestly i'm just too lazy because i know this thing is not even going to be seen uh, because there will be stuff kept on here now if you're wondering what this is it's like a shelf and yeah they give you these two ropes and just hang it wherever you want so i do have a spot near my mirror which is sort of empty and it has a nail already in the wall so i thought why not add a cute shelf on it so yeah, the quality firstly of the wooden piece the plant it's perfect they also give these nails uh, with it but I won't be really needing it. Yeah, I just thought it's worth sharing because it's such a cute addition to your room but it is also really affordable. Now next up we have some food related stuff. First one is by Urban Platter. Wow, I did not even know such a thing existed. Yes, you're reading it right. These are Pani Puri pellets. Like I did not know you can buy these pellets and try them at home, you know. Funnily enough, by mistake, I did order two. I did not really want to. So this gives you 200 grams of, well, pellets <laughs> and the best part is it's also microwave friendly so you can make a healthier version of pani puri which is the prime reason why i got it because uh, well i want to try and eat healthier and i love pani puri so, so this is how each pellet looks now i did microwave them and the funny thing is the taste is not what i expected it almost tastes like fryams like you know it does not taste like the pani puri ka puri that was sort of disappointing to me to be very honest and also microwaving it i felt like certain edges were not being cooked uh, evenly like it was still a bit kacha but the majority of the puri was definitely was cooked and crisp which is well the point of it i would not say taste wise it's going to replace your regular puris but if you're that health conscious and you just still want to find an easier way to uh, have pani puris if you have those cravings but want to make it a bit more healthy you can go for this one i just spoke about the microwave variant because that's all i have tried but you can obviously fry this and i think that will definitely taste better so yeah it's like a ready to fry and microwave pani puri pellet thingy also apparently you can put this in convection or oven apparently then it is completely cooked and healthy because not really adding a lot of oil to it next up we have my new favorite which is makhana now if you've been part of insta fam you would have seen me make this eat this many a times and the reason why i'm sharing this particular one is because this is more affordable than the other makhanas that i found on amazon makhanas are expensive comes in a strong ziploc bag so you don't have to worry of this getting spoiled in any way really high quality makhanas you can see the size of these lotus seeds just have to put it in a kadai add whatever masala you want best replacement to your unhealthy chips wale snacks in the evening now lastly we have this mixer blender hand frother whatever you want to call it and this is the stand it comes with whoops yeah so the quality of the plastic and the stand everything is great the quality is not cheap in any way it is battery operated and there's just this one button if you pull it up yeah this is just like a casual hand blender uh, for example like just to create slight froth on your coffees or teas you can use this or even to mix up certain ingredients in your tea coffee but it's not super strong so you can just do the basic blending stuff if you're looking for an affordable hand blender or froth or whatever you'd like to call this then this one is a good option just don't expect it to froth up your entire drink to another level that's not going to happen with this and with that we've come to an end of this amazon haul but don't click out of this video without hitting the thumbs up button if you did enjoy this video of course subscribe to my channel click on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos and if you want daily content from me then make sure you follow me on my instagram with that being said i will see you in my next video till then stay happy positive and blessed and be kind to yourself bye